morning, Rufus. Hello, everybody. I have got a party in my pocket. One for me. Yeah. They are not good. Get your nuts. Greedy, greedy pigs. You want one, don't you? Try not to eat the wire. This is 1983. There you go, beautiful. For anyone that doesn't have races, this is one of the few perks I enjoy the most. Sitting outside the loft on a calm, warm day without the noise of work machinery or kids running around shouting. Just myself, the birds, and a cup of tea. I hope you get yourself a girlfriend, mate. I really do. It's funny watching them, actually. It's really funny. But inside the loft is a different story. It's all couples and kissing and egg laying, unless you're one of the unlucky boys that the girls just don't like. Then you get banished. So I've put Zoolander, the uh, blue pied, next door in the Youngbird loft because he was, um, he was going from box to box to box, all of these six here, and he wouldn't let any others go in any of these boxes, which is strange because he couldn't hold a box in the old bird loft, but he would bully all these uh, yearlings. So I've moved him this morning and I've put him into the Youngbird loft and straight away, these guys have all, to, other than this one, I think this one is actually taken up um, by one of uh, Dave Evans' birds. But if you look, if the camera can pick that up, but there's basically there's birds in all of these boxes now. So my plan is to leave him next door for a week because he doesn't pair up. He had no interest in pairing up anyway. There we go, there's a scrap going off. But yeah, as I was saying, he, I've moved him next door, so these have all got boxes now, which is great, because they're all looking for somewhere to go. Some of them were getting on the floor and it just wasn't ideal. Uh, we've got loads of eggs now. I say loads of eggs, we've got some eggs. None in this side of the young birds, which I wasn't expecting. They're gonna take a bit of time. We've got um, two, 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 one empty, two eggs in there, one egg, and then the mealy from Dave Evans is paired up with another one down the bottom here. You'll see him, he'll try and Corella in there in a minute, look. have something to eat instead, aren't you, mate? Gobble, gobble, gobble. In the corner, this is uh, the old bird, one of the other old birds that couldn't get himself a, a nest box. He's, he's paired up with her and he's always trying to get to her. He was never, ever happy in the cox section, but he just he just doesn't like the boxes. He, he likes the floor. You like, like the dog shelf, don't you, mate? This is what they do, a little bit of kissy-kissy. And then he'll probably, she'll get down He'll jump on her back, uh, make some sweet love, and uh, all the other birds will try and, there you go, look, now he's gonna get under them. As soon as he starts flapping his wings, the others will probably jump up there and try and stop them from doing it. He's on, bit of a flap of the wings. There we go, look, there's another one in there, says, what are you doing, do that in public. Pervert, then they kick him out. I like to make sure there's feed in the troughs when the birds are breeding, but all that food around the place does come with some risks. Also got some more treats for the mice and for the rats. I've had this bait box for a year, two years, three years, actually since I built the loft, this one here, and um, it's been great. I just top it up with some bait every now and again. Oh, see, that's uh, that's empty, except for lots of mouse droppings. So uh, a bit late getting this topped up, but just give it a bit of a stab and uh, make them a nice kebab. Do not move or open contains rodenticide. Mmm, delicious. I haven't had any problems with mice that I'm aware of since I've been using this. However, we have a different kind of pest. Go in there. 
And then I've got another one. So inside here, the little mice will come along, or rat, go through this hole and find seeds and blue stuff and poison. All this talk of mouse bait had given me an appetite, so having definitely thoroughly washed my hands, I had lunch by the loft. you're an athlete so you can't have any it turns out the real pest was a neighbor's cat the boys had seen it jumping up at the aviary and muddy paw prints on the fence were from rufus jumping up whenever he saw it the thing is i trained the dog not to come onto the garden one because i didn't want him eating the pigeons something i was sure he would do given half the chance but mostly because i liked having grass without any dog poo on it so i've been keeping a record of when the eggs are laid I write, i've used a little pencil that i've got in the loft and i write the date on there so that i don't forget um just in why do i do that anyway i um i'm also keeping it on a spreadsheet on my phone so that i've, cause I've always got my phone so i can see um, when the birds have laid and when I'm expecting them to hatch. And I've got that on my diary there and also on my computer. All the old birds are paired up and uh, they've laid their eggs. I think I'm waiting on a couple, which is within the window that I planned for. However, the young birds, I'm still waiting for them to lay their eggs. So I'm going to have, I probably end up having about two weeks between the two because um, some of them are just pairing up now. So it's going to be a month long window, isn't it? Which isn't a terrible thing. Um, and it kind of happened last year when I first paired up the current old birds as yearlings. They did take a little bit of time and finding a box and whatever. So, but this is just the the issue that you have if you're, um, you know, if you work and you've uh, got family and you've got other commitments. You can't put all of your time into pigeons and planning. So, ah, oh, sun's come out. Right. So, I have got this. It's a. Uh trail camera i'm going to use this to spot where the cat's coming in and uh and what it's doing there we go that's better isn't it yeah uh, so i'm going to set this up right. I'm just going to stand it up for now because I think the birds will trigger it if I put it. Let's go. And see if that, uh, see what we get, see if anything comes. What I really want to see is um, one, if we've got any rats, and two, if uh, where the cat's getting in and whether it's actually doing poos on the garden. 